So, welcome everybody. Um, my name is Paul and I'm gonna take you on an adventure. Uh, the adventure will be uh, sailing, sailing on my boat, uh, soon to be boat, um, Sailing Spock. So, uh, what is it about? Uh, it's like a, a change of lifestyle. Something about me. I'm uh, working at a logistical company uh, as a team leader, senior team leader, and I was like, uh, is this all in life I want to have? Uh, is this like... I got the urge like uh, already a long time. I've, I've lived on Curacao for a year. Um, and I always got the urge to, to do something, explore. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel with uh, Urbex, or kind of Urban Exploring. Uh, so if you uh, if you want to see that, you can also see that. Uh, there will be on the link uh, link below. And I'm an adventurer, so I couldn't stick three to four years for every with every company. So with this company, I stayed for six and a half or even a little bit longer. So so it was a it was a quite an experience. Uh, but if you like um, and if you like the sailing life, if you see you see so many sailing channels. Uh, I would like to be like stay interactive with you guys, uh, but that's I'm going from one to another. Uh, so I was like looking at S. Fidelos, yeah, and I saw two brothers uh, going about Brady and Brian, and they really inspired me to do this. Um, I was uh, I was really thinking of like. Yeah, how can I do this? Yeah, uh, how about selling everything, buying a boat, and just go for it? Uh, if they can do it, and if other people can do it, I, I see a lot of them. Uh, why can't I do it? Like uh, sell my house, sell everything, check out the sailing life, um, check out if it's really that good. Yeah, because yeah, it's not all sunshine, and uh, ah, yeah. Uh, you can watch it and you can find out how it all goes so I hope you like and subscribe and, uh, and uh, like check this channel out I hope you will interact with me as well uh, all about critics as well if you have uh, some things that you wanna wanna share with me let me know you can also if you want to uh, come on board yeah because I like to have people on board I'm not gonna do it alone. Um, I like to have people aboard, like colleagues, uh, friends, uh, family, uh, a few weeks, a few months, whatever you want. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna buy a, uh, a like I see you see in the video. I'm gonna buy a boat like like around forty to fifty foot. Yeah, so that's twelve till fifteen meters in the, in the metric thing. Uh, but still, I'm gonna be having like uh, four cabins in the boat, so that means I can host uh, six other people. Yeah, and so people that I know, you are watching this, you can also uh, like and subscribe, but you can also send me a message. Send me a message to one of these, one of these, and through Instagram or through my email, and. If you send it, I will get back to you yeah. and live long and prosper, like the channel is saying as well. Uh, that's one of my Star Trek things, so okay, you'll find out later. Okay, so we're gonna skip to the, to the movie like I made in Greece. I went to Greece to find a, find a boat and uh, I'll see you later. So good morning everybody. Uh, ready to embark on a, on a journey to uh, to Greece and looking at uh, some boats. Uh, it's uh, 3.15 a.m. and uh, it's really early. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you updated and uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you what, uh, what we're gonna do. I'm going to. I'm going with my buddy uh, Michel. Uh, we're going to uh, to fly to Greece and then uh, look at a lot of boats. 
So, at the airport, uh, it's a little busy. It's like uh, a lot of people uh, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, so, but I think we're gonna, have, we're gonna make it. So, we are on board. It took us uh, over two hours. Yeah, over two hours. Two and a half. So, uh, uh, 6.50, the plane should leave. And we were on board, 6.50. It's now 7... 7.33. 7.33, and we're gonna go. So, a little delay. But, hey, we're on the way. So, we arrived in uh, Reveza, uh, it's, uh, it's Greek, it sounds Italian, but it's Greek, so uh, yeah, Michel, Michel is there, Hello. and uh, now we're going to try to find uh, hey, the bus to the city, so, hey. see you guys later. Uh, so, <laughs> We're, we are. Uh, we went. Just went to the place that we have, the Airbnb, and uh, yeah, we're walking through the picturesque, picturesque uh, village of uh, Preveza. Uh, we're going to find a supermarket now, and then uh, buy some stuff so we can eat something. And then uh, tonight we're going to look into the center of the village, maybe something to eat to eat, get something to eat. We also saw a guy like. Uh, Selling uh, bike parts over there. Probably has more than bike parts, like I see. <laughs> He's a scrapyard. He has his own scrapyard. So, okay. I get five euro every time that I falls filming me. Every time. <laughs> he wishes in his dreams. Uh, it's makkelijk. Bon appétit. So we went to the supermarket and we thought, hmm, Greece will probably be less expensive. But the shop we went to, it's like a complete took some bread and some other stuff and it's the 27 euros. It's crazy. <laughs> so there's also a little here in this uh, village. So we're going to try to see tomorrow if there's a little, if we can get there. So we are at the harbor of Preveza and uh, like you see here, Lots and lots of boats. We put our steps over there. We're driving on our step. But it's like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, like a lot of boats here. Probably not for sale, but we're gonna ch just check it out anyway. Uh, there's like, uh, there was like one place that we went. There were all uh, sailors, all, all people of the sail community from all over the place, Canada, uh, France, uh, England, uh, everywhere, from everywhere. So, really nice to see. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, yeah, check out some boats and uh, maybe we see some uh, in something interesting. So, and we're gonna ask around, of course. So, you know.
So still in Preveza, harbor by night, and what do we see on the background? We see the rainbow and the moon. Um, just a few minutes ago, it was really a, a not a lot nicer, but yeah, okay, it's okay. So in my search for the right sailboat, I was uh, looking a, a lot on Yacht World. Uh, I filed like I put in like 52 to 50 feet. Uh, I put in a cap of 80,000. It's it's 70,000 for but okay, 80,000 euros. Um, then of course it's a sailboat, and uh, I was looking for a boat in Europe because uh, all the boats, uh, there are a lot of boats, but Europe is, uh, is near to my parents that are now not uh, the best in health. So uh, I want to be staying uh, near them. And then I found this uh, Gypsy uh, 444. Uh, it's a really nice boat, like you see. It's a 93 boat, but they kept it up really good. Uh, so uh, it was time for me to uh, make an appointment and to check it out, so. There's like so many boats here, it's like crazy. You can see mast after mast after mast, and there's still, and there's even a, a camper, an RV. Look, yeah, Michel. Oh, stop. somebody's building on his house. No, but somebody's building the the boat, and then they have the camper as a as a living uh, space. So, because we came on Saturday, uh, Monday or Tuesday would be the first day that we could look at a boat. Uh, <clears throat> And then we went to this uh, give and see. So uh, we'll show you some uh, pictures from inside and outside. So starting in the front. More cabinets. Bathroom. Two birds. Or it's, yeah, there's like some some space here. I don't know what this is. It's just it's loose, <clears throat> Michel. There's a bit loose here on this side. So maybe we can check it out what what that is. But it's also with the gonna be with the survey. Look over there and over there. Maybe some moist came between them. I don't know. Oh, the dolphin, yeah, okay. Sorry? 
stem cells and uh, <laughs> toothpaste is still in there. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, ready. Is the beer in the fridge? Small. Uh, no, but uh, some bathroom uh, some uh, other uh, martini or so, something like that. This one. Ah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Ah, there you go. So you Double berth. <clears throat> and these are the panels for the engine, and it's also on the other side. That's for the solar panels. Another one also here is the sun. And then a two berth, double berth again. Yeah, there's still some uh, some stuff here as well from the owner. Yeah. Yeah, I think, but I think everything now is left. I think he took. Uh, there was just a few things that he had. Uh, um, Kimball. Uh, yeah, I think he got taken off. So. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. Thruster, add it up, add it up later. <clears throat> you see, like the peel here is like a, it's like always iron, and this is uh, this is polyester, so it's like. So what you already heard, like the neighbor was making a lot of noise. Um, the rudder here seems fine and also the the rest of the boat looks uh, looks really nice uh it's it's a 93 boat so you would expect more uh more issues with it or more things with it but it looks uh, it looks quite nice uh everything is uh, everything is there and it's uh, it's really uh it's a real um yeah it's looking good of course it should be painted, uh, and there should be a new layer on it, and then uh, and then the bow thruster. Of course, it's uh, it's really neat uh, that it's in there. First boat. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it was one of these, yeah. Uh, slightly older, 2001. Oh, yeah, this is really needs some, some work done. Okay. That's Kevin. Kevin's. Oh, dear, she's still playing it anyway. Yeah. It's a little lower as well. Yeah. This is like the sporty version. We were fully yeah. mounted, right? Yeah. No, the other boat uh, is full better. We also the difference between 40 feet and 44. Yeah, it's. It's not just a little bit longer. No. It's wider. It's yeah. higher. It's, yeah. uh, it's like when I mean, you get a pump and you pump the boat up. You know, the whole thing just goes like this. You know? um, so you do get a lot more space just by going from 40 to 40. So true. Amazing plan. Yeah. And also the heat inside is a lot more than the other one. Yeah, I think you're right actually. Yeah. I don't know why, but... No, it's a good point. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Maybe it's in. Yeah, maybe it's it So we just saw two boats. Uh, one Janot, 40 foot. Like, and that was, that was really a lot smaller than the Gibbon C. What do you think about it? Michel? The first one. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice boat. And the second one? Mm, 
not. No. It was a little smaller. It had three cabins, but still, it was uh, it was worn off more than the than the Gibbon C. <coughs> it was like from 2005, and the Gibbon C from 1993. So you can see that boats are uh, that are kept really good by their owners. Uh, it's it's a lot better. Uh, the Gibbon C was like also in, in according to space, like everything was like much better. Uh, it was cooler as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, we were in, like on the boat uh, on, the, on the Gibbon Sea. It was like it was it was uh, warm, but the the, the Genoa was like really really hot. So uh, yeah, that's also a difference. Uh, that's that's different in in making. Uh, the broker already said as well. Like yeah, the the Gibbon Sea is like really old built, like built like sturdy, like like, and the other ones were are built for for. Uh, for to be faster and to be lighter, lighter and uh, and that was uh, yeah I'll have the time so let's uh, let's see the given C was like really uh, really a nice one uh, we saw an Amel from uh, like uh, SV Dallas the same one uh, <laughs> I'm gonna check how how much that costs but that's gonna be much much too, too expensive but like uh, it was nice to see in a, a, a Dallas uh, ship uh, like uh, like SV Dallas as well uh, to see that because uh, uh, yeah I really like that ship as well and all electric and everything so but yeah so what do you think of the first uh, sightings like the, the, yeah the given sea was the best yeah uh, yeah that's the one yeah so we'll see keep you updated So the day we left, uh, no, the day before we left, uh, we had another viewing of the Gipsy uh, 444. It's pronounced Gipsy, it's not Gib NC, what I said all the time before, but it's Gipsy. Um, so we were looking into it a little bit better, a little bit more, and we see some damages on the boat, like here. And there's another spot on the front. Uh, but it's all in the polyester, it's like, it's all in the, in the, in the top layer. Yeah, so. Uh, this has a thicker layer than the other boat we saw, uh, so that means uh, it's not through and through. So there's no moist, no water, whatever coming through. Uh, we see another spot over here, uh, but that's the that's the plate. It's a deck plate, so um, you won't see the you won't see the ropes going going uh, through it. So. It's, it looks like it's uh, it's really through and through, but then you will see uh, there you see the ropes and they're going underneath it. So it's not the the ceiling, it's just the top. Uh, so we look further and nothing really uh, special comes up. So it's probably up to a surveyor to uh, to see what's uh, yeah what's wrong with the boat or if there's anything wrong with the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and also the, now, like, the water bottle. I'm check. I'm also checking if I can build in the freezer something like that. Uh, okay. Maybe. Um, in can also use that one. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, sorry, in that one. Yeah. I think that would be maybe your best place. 
It's in the kitchen at least. Yeah, and it's already uh, like, uh, sort of already half, like half insulated. There, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You have to take space in there as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe you could put something in there. Yeah. Well, that's also, also possible. I think you have options, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. So yeah. You for can sure. also take some out and put some of the things in there. Yeah. You can have half and half or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some see more than a line about it, but hey, they won't be easy to make about it. Yeah. True. Yeah. So it's uh, a freezer with a, uh, a drawer. On a drawer. A drawer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. Well, next is then, yeah. then, then, then you can make it. Uh, this on one. This, uh, the seat. Yeah. This one again. Me a second. This, uh, number keeps calling me, so yeah, okay, no problem. Here. No problem. Hi. So, luckily, there was no moist that we could find, uh, no pieces that were hanging loose. Yeah, but one, one upper part, like we see here in the left, uh, that's a little bit loose. Uh, but for the rest, we didn't see any any damage of of, of uh, uh, moist coming through or water coming through. Uh, so that would be nice. This is the bathroom. You see, uh, everything is clean, tidy. There, there's still a lot of stuff inside, like uh, his toothpaste and everything. Um, the owner's not coming back, so we get it as it is. There's the Yamaha. It's the outboard motor for the for the dinghy. Uh, so and there's really really lots of space on this boat like we saw uh, michel is checking out the the ceiling here uh but the ceiling is good there's no moist here so we were really yeah uh satisfied with uh, with the second viewing of this boat the gipsy 444 and uh, not the gip nc but the gipsy 444 and uh yeah we're satisfied of that hole design, that deep hole, it's uh, yeah, it's a lot of space. Really good, yeah. So, we're relaxing uh, one more night in uh, Preveza and uh, here at the, the across the water. You see the you see the uh, yard the, the, the boat is in. Uh, so one of the masts uh, could be mine. So, we are at the airport of Preveza and uh, we're going home, we're going home. Uh, we saw some boats, like you saw, and like there's uh, there's also uh, some. Uh... Oh, but it's uh, fire department. So it's a, it was a military airbase. Think I think Preveza because you see all the the bunkers as well on the on the airport. And there's like a, the fire department. So really nice, uh, people are boarding another place and uh, some person left his uh, suitcase uh, standing, so that's uh, really strange, but yeah, you know, what happens, yep, Michel is gonna go, Michel is gonna go to the toilet again. <laughs> Ready for the flight? Up off. Me too. Going home. So we're back. Not home yet. We have to drive a little bit further uh, from Düsseldorf to uh, to Ulft. So what did you think of the flight? Oh, nice flight. Yeah, it was uh, it was okay. Yes. It was uh, there was a nice lady being next to me. Not like uh, some people were thinking, oh, are you thinking, oh man, no, no, don't let this person sit next to me. <laughs> there was some nice lady sitting next to me, so it was good, it was good.